Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today we are going to review 4 unusual modules of those that are not very popular because they are not apparent, they are not so provocative in their movements and clothing, because they have shapes that in some cases create a problem of fit. It can be difficult to find the right size and sometimes it happens that the size itself does not exist. By now we are used to seeing in the panorama of the curvy world an increasing amount of women remade from head to toe and I, while not condemning this practice and belonging to the old school, still prefer the naturalness and softness of a natural breast and not only that. Here I find myself in a small minority of people. And in this case it matters little if you are a man or a woman, which are still anchored to the ideals of beauty that belonged to the past. But is it really so? Are today's models really head and shoulders above the rest? As always, to each of you I leave the freedom to get an idea and express your opinion because you already know mine. And so let's move on to the first model you are already seeing. Slightly above average in stature and full bodied, I wouldn't say massive in this case even though she has an important physicality. There is no imbalance between the upper and lower body, nice round and soft legs for a balanced line without an obvious hourglass shape. With these sizes you can still wander almost freely as they are not too large and in fact we see her wearing practically everything. With the second that I propose we go up in size for an hourglass shape which in some poses is really impressive due to the difference between the waistline, which is very narrow, and the rest of the body. I'm not sure but I want to venture a hypothesis. Did she come to get the coupon too? Maybe yes or it could be a natural form but in this second case, hey people we are faced with something extraordinary, don't you think so too? Shorter than the previous model but still of sure visual impact with these large round shapes. 
a slight imbalance in the lower body that is more massive with these big, round legs that she's not afraid to show both in shorts and in these tight, short dresses. The colors are sometimes very bright but well matched. Such a woman would be revered as a goddess in some areas of the world but unfortunately in others she is considered a bad example. I want to hear your opinion in the comments. The third module we go up again with the sizes but only because it is higher than the previous one. A nice big hourglass shape with these tall and generous hips on two big round and full legs. The somatic features would suggest a South American or in any case of Latin origin while her surname reports something very different. Maybe it's the married name and not the maiden name, I'll have to investigate it. Definitely more on an elegant style than the previous models, with these long dresses that show delicate patterns and colors that are not too showy but not always. Often we also see her in a short and tight dress to show all her femininity. Could a woman like that win you over or are you oriented only on plastic and Botox? <laughs> Forget all 
latest model today we go down a lot in sizes compared to the previous ones. I left her for a last for her simplicity. She represents hundreds of millions of women and girls who walk this planet. Free from inhibitions, because she does not have a flat abdomen or a particularly defined body, she shows us how you can live happily with your imperfections with a smile. But is it really so? Is she really imperfect? Not fair compared to your beauty standards? Look at her carefully before judging and don't be like that guy who the other day in the comments arrogantly turned to me telling me that in his part there are many women like Deli and Renya and then he was unable to recognize a fake breast from one redone. Go deep into things, always. this video, a special thanks to those of you who have made it this far and of course I just have to say goodbye and refer you to the next video. Be good.